In this video, a few of my friends and I survive in Project Zomboid, each of us with all the negative traits. There are 37 negative traits in the game that make your character run the full gamut of irrational phobias and major drawbacks. Everything from having both agoraphobia and claustrophobia at once, to being hemophobic, disorganized, illiterate, and morbidly obese. Each one of us will be all of these things at the same time. Death. Betrayal. He was holding cigarettes! Intrigue and catharsis. <laughs> Who will survive the longest? We embarked upon our journey in the roof of our home. What do we do? What is our goal? Should we have a few words of introduction? All of us need to go on a fishing holiday together. That's our goal. So it's decreed. Five morbidly obese men will go on vacation together. Right, let us do an introduction though of who everyone is, I imagine. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, like an AA meeting. Uh, led by AA. All right, uh, we all have a problem. I've gathered you all here together today. My name is Negative Man. Would anyone else care to introduce themselves? I have a problem. I am actual rabble. I'm Terrible Terry. I've spent the last 14 years being a Roblox YouTuber. Now the apocalypse has come, my body is ready. My body is a temple. I am perfect in every way. My name's Gordon. I've spent four years trying to be funny on the internet. It hasn't gone very well. I have, I have nothing. Please help. Oh, God. Uh, my name's Jolly, and I am naked with a bunch of dudes. Great to have everyone here. I was very confident in my team. We have to designate roles. Who carries the food? I will hold the food. I think that's the most important task. If <laughs> anyone comes for my food, okay, I will shift them. We'll have to share. Everyone pick one item of clothing from the cabinet. I will uh, take the shorts. I got sneakers. I sneakers. Oh no. Uh, I'll take a belt. Oh, this you're not not allowed a belt. That's technology. We don't know how belts work. Um, and I we think are, we must. We should we go are on our ready adventure. for the apocalypse. What's the plan from here on out, gang? We put our heads together and formulated a strategy. Uh, I think we need to go to the local food shop just up the road uh, from here and get some food, right? I can just imagine five naked obese men crouching across the street, <laughs> <laughs> terrified wherever they go. Within mere minutes, we. We were severely burdened by the many overwhelming sensations of the outdoor world encroaching on our feeble bodies. I have extreme panic because I'm outside. I'm already first here. We've only walked to the next door. I just took um a jar of peanut butter and it's crushing my legs. Oh, a containment device. Yes, we can oh. store our food in the garbage. Three bottles of water in the fridge. Score. I think I still need shoes. I'll take the next pair we find. Until then, oh, I live Lordy. in fear. I'm gonna start bulking in the corner. I think we need to kill our oh, first dear. zombie, but only one. Yeah, please. I need I need socks or shoes. I just need some shoes, please. No, no, he's dead. He's dead. Grab his shoes. Are we going to the house over there now? Uh, I yeah. mean, it makes sense. There could be some uh, some clothes there. Goodness, I can hardly see. This is amazing. None of us can. Can I just improve my, like, nimbleness by yeeting myself? I just- I'm bleeding. The lettuce makes me powerful enough to carry at least one grapefruit. Eating copious produce lended each of us enough momentary vitality in order to perform basic tasks. Despite our shortcomings, we were a unit, a squad with a common goal. I'm gonna cook steak. Wow, look oh. at you, Mr. Fancy Man who look thinks look he can look cook. Yeah. The neighborhood and its plethora of mundane treasures were ours, so long as we worked together. Hey, there's a wristwatch here. Tell the time, Time Lord. Ooh, a CD of Bible readings from the Tower of Babel. We need to move, boys. Let's get out of here. Oh, this window's open. Everyone get inside. Stealth time. With a scalpel. Oh, no, no stealth. Though outstandingly weak individually, we worked best as a team, gradually snowballing our way to greater destructive capabilities as we romped through the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, that's Three right. Just, just grope them over. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Beat down, beat down. Yeah, take that. Hey, no. Need help. No. <laughs> He keeps dropping ranger hats. Where's he getting all these hats from? <laughs> what kind of madman wears all four right. hats? Now, now we are true apocalypse survivors. We are ready. We were a brotherhood, a fraternity, more masculine and intimidating even than the A team. Do we play rock, paper, scissors to see who gets it? Uh, no, I saw it and I brought it over here. That is very <laughs> much my axe. In a Darwinistic struggle, however, the roots of competition began to emerge. Slowly at first, Look, and sow the axe. seeds of distrust. You want me to bring, no, bring the axe over? Okay, fine. <laughs> Please fine, help, help us. Break out the axe. <laughs> this is embarrassing. There we go. One mighty swing. Lads on tour, five obese guys who hardly have clothes on. <laughs> it was all fun and games until we started playing with fire. Cool. No. Cool. Cool. Are you okay? Uh, oh, yeah. Cool. No, Ghoul, you are bit, my friend. Come back here so I can look at you. Oh, me? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm good. He's lying. 
No, he is lying. To keep the group together, I did what I had to. I tr I trust you. I'm. Hang on a second. Cool. Come come back here. I want to give you something. Oh, we got some <laughs> hey. stuff. Yeah, I'm a nice guy, aren't I? Yeah. We continued on, treading upon new ground where no obese, frail men had ever trod before. How do we get into that storage area? Um, because... But the sad reality was that we were much too large to realistically consider hopping a fence. But that still didn't stop us from trying. Go, okay. go for it. Fat people hey, flying. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, he made it! Oh, he made it! Hey. Hey. Fat people can fly. How did you get over? I just <laughs> built different. Actually, I think it's because I've eaten so much food. My strength is is greater. <gasps> That's a good idea. Let me let me Ooh. eat this. Bulk up, bulk up before yeah, you climb. Really cool. Don't worry. Between the five of us, we can kill the two women. We've done it. Nailed it. Let's go, boys. Two women destroyed. Though we had got off to a rocky start, things were looking up. We hatched the brilliant plan of breaking into a vehicle to exploit the stealth mechanic. We can set off the siren, then of course we'll need to leave this area. But it backfired. Into the woods. This seems like a really bad idea. Okay. We don't want to cause too much commotion. Alright, now we just stay in here for like five minutes, and then we come back out and we can train our stealth. I think it's time to go. Yeah, that didn't work. But it didn't work. And we were forced helplessly into the woods at nightfall of all times. I'm out of stamina, man. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, no, I'm, God, I'm it's scraping almost, by. It's almost like you guys I'm haven't been by. eating four steaks a day. I'm sorry, but you guys are too weak. <laughs> too weak. We made it to safety. Does anyone have light? I have a... have a light. Uh, I am the Lord of Light. This is burning all of the fuel we have. I'm not using it. <laughs> then we met an unlikely friend in the woods. Help! Help oh me! Hey. Help me, my feet! Uh, do you need bandages? Yes! Here we go. I have oh nubs. God. I'm horribly <laughs> emaciated. Oh, if you're emaciated, you're we have butter yourself. for you. Hang on a minute. The group was divided. Should we share our resources, or would the strongest be left to survive? I don't yeah, have I any food to share. I need it. I'm bulking for winter. I'm, I also like need to chipmunk. bulk up. Are you able to hop a fence because three out of five of us are not? 60% of obese men who are <laughs> naked can't hop fences. Sponsor one today. Um, AA, I found an important piece of literature for you. It's, it's a bit of lore. Read this. Conflict emerged. Doo-doo was flung. Roses are red, violets are blue. I think you smeal like poo. <laughs> you know, I am illiterate, so that's fine. Right, there we go. This is now yours. It's a satchel. Right. Oh my. Right when it seemed like we had all gotten along together, the unthinkable happened. We've moved on, man. Come on. Oh. 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 oh did you just get Are you serious? Hang on. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, fine. Got I don't bandage. trust him. The man just bandaged something. He bandaged well, something. I did not bandage anything. Anybody okay, need then help? No, 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 then no, let no, us no, do a no, Somebody go, go. need help? Who needs help right here? Ghoul King needs a quick investigation. Nothing, nothing going on here. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> let me just Hold wait on, a let second. Hold on, let me just... Whilst I toggle into, uh, into totally murder fine. mode. Totally uh, fine. Come back here. <laughs> I was looking for the bathroom. Stay away. What? Oh, go, slow down. Slow oh down. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. Jesus. I know you'll fit. Drop your phone. Oh, Drop your phone. Oh god, the inhumanity. Oh my god. Why would you do that? He just wasn't even He's gone rogue. He wasn't even rogue. He was. He was. Look, his body's. He was. There you go. I knew I was right. Oh, he had cigarettes. He was hoarding cigarettes. He had a friendship bracelet. Oh, no, God. Oh, God. It was for you. Ghoul, why? Why would you? That was awesome. Why would you lie to us? This friendship bracelet is cursed. Yeah. Uh, I do not who want wants that the friendship, friendship bracelet, bracelet that now? Uh, I didn't mean to drop your body. Hold on. Those who refuse my friendship pay in the afterlife. <laughs> uh, I'd rather pay in the afterlife than die sooner. Uh, All right. The quest I had to go on like one way or another, no matter who survived. Oh, shit. God, it's, if it's the goddamn friendship bracelet, fine. 
<laughs> Why did I accept? <laughs> uh, Spiff's the next one to go. Do you think he'd want me to be at the funeral ceremony? I, I think I'm it. the best man for the eulogy. He dug a grave and then just didn't put the body in it and closed it. We're here to remember a man. Um, He's not in there. He was a big man. He's not even in there. I knew him like a brother. Although the untimely death of a friend put a damper on our mood, we quickly recovered from the loss by eating mint candies to restore our happiness. Is everyone severely depressed? Do you want? Do you want something to cure your depression? Just, just a little bit. Oh, you, this is. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. How much food do you have? Uh, enough so I can survive. <laughs> For you know, you survive or we survive? Uh, myself and a select few. Do you still have ghoul's blood on your body? It seems that you cleaned off the pink socks. Those have been with you since the very beginning. The socks are the, the reminder of my humanity and the rest is the reminder of what I've had to do to survive. Running low on food and still too weak to secure a reliable source of it, we began resorting to unconventional methods of catching vermin and annelids from the earth itself. There's a table over here with the radio that okay. we're listening we to for entertainment. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to uh, steer clear of the worms. You guys can eat the worms, but I'm okay without them. Oh, food of the <laughs> gods. But the folly of man knows no bounds. Before long, another of our group made a deadly yeah. mistake and joined oh, the ranks of undead. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No. You bastards! You left me! Oh you my left. god! You, no. got, you got yourself killed! Really? My one English friend! Now you're permanently oh, dead? God. We ran away. I'm not proud of what we did, but we all did what we had to to survive. Oh. It's because you wouldn't accept the friendship bracelet. Yeah, you would have survived. I was sat there like, oh, you two are probably watching. I do need food. I'm very hungry. Okay, uh, let me give you uh, a, a slice of cake. Where did you get a cake? Just pulled it out of my ass. <laughs> You're eating my ass cake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it didn't sate me. How about a nourishing cigarette? Would that would that help your hunger? Oh, another yeah. important message. What will it say this time? Is this the same important message? This is turning into you a horror that? game. I don't know. Everyone yeah. keeps telling I'm me things. Beast. I'm like a con oh. I'm like an unwilling confidant for quite a lot here. I was nervous. Spiff was growing stronger and more psychopathic every minute, and other people were dropping like flies, whether by their own poor decision making or literally being axed to death. I feared that soon there would be no one left and I would need to either befriend him or take him out myself. You have a little bit of a limp to you, nurse. Lime, why, why aren't you wearing any clothes? Huh? It's streamline. Um, okay, <laughs> very dynamic. Dynamic. Reject yeah. clothes, return to worm. Uh, we're going to the West Point cabins. Is this a smoking or a non-smoking car? No, we don't. Uh, Too late, it's a smoking, smoking car now. Despite all of this gay activity, tension was still in the air. Who would die next? It was the question we were all thinking, but no one voiced. So, uh, how's everyone's day going? It's going great. That's wonderful to hear. I was going to ask if someone wanted a bite to eat, but <laughs> <I'm done>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. I was nervous because I had to sit next to nurse in the car. She'd been bit, and her body was a ticking time bomb. But perhaps I could use her as a distraction while I planned to obtain a weapon, or somehow secure my own safety. Maybe depart at some more opportune interval. Very nice set of homes! Damn, this Big is fun. lovely. Uber driver, take me to home. Take me home, up the road. To the, uh, home. Place where I belong. I belong! Oh my god, this house is filled with police and criminals! Oh, we have glasses of red wine. Who took the table? So who wants... Oh. Yeah, Lime moved it. This is kind of low class of us to just eat at the couch <laughs> and, the, and stare at the fire. I'm going to report you to the Homeowners Association. There you go. How dare you move your dining room table out of the unregulated location? Yes. Why did you bring the barbecue in? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Come sit, everyone. Join There's the There's nothing table. wrong with that. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's all have a seat. Mm. Uh, we family yeah, meeting. Uh, Lime, I just want to let you know, in case you didn't know, because pretty much everyone else knows, but Nurse actually got bit. At the, uh, the logging place. Yeah, I know, place. I know, I know. I'm just kind of like... <laughs> okay, cool. We're just, we're just not addressing the elephant in the room here. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know fine. what you're talking about. Yeah, someone put in the VHS tape. <laughs> here we go. Welcome back. It's exposure survival oh, time. Yes. Wow. Welcome back to nature. Here we go. Welcome back to nature. Go oh, foraging. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're over to the fish and authentic British cuisine. Oh, <laughs> oh gravy. I'm just going to take some drugs real quick. How close are you to actual zombification? How about we go fishing one last time, though, before, uh... Oh, yeah, one last time. This is incredibly... This would be a great time to kill everyone if someone were trying it. 
<laughs> be a shame if that were to happen. Would it, wouldn't it be wild if we just killed each other? Hi there. Hi, Ness. Hello. Yeah, it's come to my attention that you could die at any moment, and I don't want to be the person who gets bit. <laughs> Let me turn around. Yeah, I think it's best if you look into the water. Um, okay. I want something. Uh, do you guys want to be here? Come up to the water just above the cabin. I've always wanted to. For the send off ceremony. Oh, <laughs> across the ocean. We're gonna, we're gonna scatter. We're gonna scatter your ashes across, yeah. across That's the fine. water. That'd be fine. It's gonna be kind of pulverized <laughs> in the process. Do you, you want to write anything cabin. on that? Pen? Oh, yeah, I don't want to be left alone with him. Yeah, do you want to actually leave a final message? <laughs> Do you want to leave like a will? Write something touching for us, Spiff. You're gonna have to make the eulogy because you killed her. Uh, sure. Okay. Do you want me to do a, an on-the-spot eulogy so she, you know, she's still alive and we won't cheers it? We're gonna celebrate your life after by drinking all of that red wine. Thank yeah. you for the red wine. Um, have you written your note? And uh, who do I just do? Just, just leave it on your body. We'll get it. <laughs> um, time for your farewell. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm glad that I could be friends with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh God, why? I'll help out. Ow! That'll do. My Nurse's will. Oh, crap, she's... Oh, she's back up! Stomp on her. Stomp on her. I'll All break right. her there leg. Go. She's oh, stomped. Okay, right. that works. Uh, who wants to read out Nurse's will? Nurse's will? Don't get bit or spiffle will kill you. Take my drugs. Uh, you know, those are good words to live by, to be honest. Perhaps one day. Uh, we'll get there, the three of us. Uh, was six of us, but now just three. We're no longer nude. Our lives have clearly improved by quite a lot. Uh, what was your favorite part of the adventure? Let's go around. I really liked digging for worms. I liked putting our friends down when their time would come. And I, I personally enjoyed reading all of the literature that came out of this uh, endeavor. Fun was had yes, by all. some great poems written by illiterate people. I mean, haven't we already got some kind of unspoken bond among us? I, I greatly preferred having our friends die as they, uh, I, even if they themselves would have protested their deaths, I, I felt as though that it made the, uh, the limited time that they were here more meaningful. It did. Definitely remembered them. Like, um, what's his name? Uh, the British guy, um, and then the friendship bracelet guy, and, um, yeah, I've, I've forgotten them mostly, but that's okay. Uh, oh. The strongest survive. Oh dear. Right. Well, I guess that's that's the end. Let's yeah. call it a day. Yeah. It's been absolutely lovely um, yeah, surviving with all of you. Thank you for this. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the journey. <laughs>